Welcome back, everybody. Carly Allison was known for her beautiful message to always smile before sadly passing away from cancer. That was in 2015. To honor her, Carly's family founded the charity called Carly's Angels, leading to a first-of-its-kind cancer experience at Princess Margaret Cancer Center. We're joined now by Carly's sister, Riley, and director of the Cancer Experience Program, Dr. Gary Roden, to learn more about Carly's incredible legacy. Good morning. Good to see you both. Hi, James. Thank you for having us. Riley, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about your sister. Yeah, so um, my little sister, as you mentioned, um, battled cancer um, up to 2015. She battled a 1 in 3.5 billion kind of cancer, and that in itself was rare. But of course, Carly chose to deal with cancer in a very unique way, and uh, she always found a reason to smile. So she actually started a blog uh, that she called Always Smile, and she gained a ton of followers. And she had about 300,000 people logging on every single day to see how this amazing young woman was dealing with her battle with cancer. Incredible courage, beautiful photos and tributes. So how did Carly's Angels come to be then? Yeah, so she had a ton of people asking her, um, who were following her blog, how they could help. And uh, eventually Carly decided that she was going to start her own charitable foundation. And so together we started Carly's Angels based on her experience to fill a gap of um, what we experienced when Carly was battling cancer, which was, you know, she had access to all these incredible treatments at Princess Margaret and Sick Kids. Um, but the doctors also suggested that we go and reach um, alternative and complementary treatments outside of the hospital. Mm -hmm. And those were extremely expensive out of pocket costs. Um, they were hard to get to. And those were the barriers we sought to overcome with Carly's Angels. So, Dr. Roden, how does this program work then? Well, you know, there's a lot of attention been paid in the last number of decades to the medical aspect of cancer care. But as Riley says, maybe not as much or to the same extent as all the other aspects of cancer uh, care, those things that support the patient and the family through the whole process. So the Cancer Experience Program at Princess Margaret was created to direct attention to all of those other things, the human aspects, the psychological, social, and cultural aspects of cancer care, and to all the range of services that Riley talked about that are so hard for so many people to reach uh, when they're dealing with cancer. This is the time of year where people are thinking about, you know, where can I donate if I have some extra money or time? What are you looking for right now? And if people are watching and they want to contribute, how do they do so? Well, they can be in touch with the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation. The Cancer Experience Program has become one of the priorities uh, of the Princess Margaret Cancer Center, knowing that supporting patients and families through this very difficult experience. And we're doing it in all kinds of ways, you know, through uh, helping people navigate through the Cancer Center, get access to all kinds of specialized services, bringing art and music into the Cancer Center. We're, we're looking at all kinds of innovative ways to make this a, a better experience for people who are otherwise often frightened and confused and uh, under a lot of stress dealing with cancer. Riley, I'll leave the last word to you. Where do we find more information? Yeah, so um, you can support Carly's Angels, which supports the Cancer Experience Program at, uh, at the Princess Margaret by going to carlysangels.ca. We host events, we sell jewelry and clothing embossed with Carly's message of Always Smile to support this amazing program. An amazing program, a beautiful honor and tribute to keep the memory alive of your, your beautiful sister in so many ways, Carly, with Carly's Angels. Thank you both.